it uh, ends up in reggae bar. So, reggae bar. So, I'm gonna go there. It is so busy here. A lot of restaurants, a lot of, a lot of activities going on. Thank you. <laughs> So this is the street that ends up in the red light district in Kusamui. I had one video here, so this is the second one. Coming back to the same spot. Let's see if there's any differences for past 20, I don't know, seven days. I believe it's going to rain any moment, but I'm taking a chance. Every cocktail is 180 baht in this bar. So I believe this is uh, a red light district of Kusamui. So there is a stadium here, right here. Oh, and people training. Tonight, the most international boxing stadium. 
So this is the red light district of Kusamui. Obviously now nothing happening because it's just like five o'clock, but probably at night it gets very very busy here. Probably tonight I'll come back here and have a video here to see how everything is happening here at night. many people at the moment but probably late on gets busy So far I saw two bars with number 69, either front of it or in the end. So I'm sure you guys know what does it mean. So this is the red light district of Kusamui. And this is a reggae bar. It is so big. I'll come back tonight and see what is going on here tonight just to have a video for you guys really famous in one point but not anymore like one point I heard from a lot of people that they used to come to Kusamui like 10 15 years ago I heard this place was very famous but not anymore yeah man the beach is very windy but it's nice I'm gonna go for a walk the first time I spent more than seven months I'm sure people that subscribe to my channel they know I spent roughly seven months in Kusamui in past 23 months but this is the first day that I see so windy here so
is lovely, I love it. I don't know why people is not out here for walk. It is really wow. What happened to Kusamui Beach? A little bit messy. Oh man, they didn't clean it properly. What happened? Usually here always clean. Today I was in my room and I was just looking at the windows and you know gloomy weather and you know it's dark and first time in my life for the past 23 months that I'm traveling just I remember the whole lifestyle that I had in Canada. Obviously it gets dark by three o'clock in the afternoon so obviously you go to work when it's dark and then when you're coming back home it still is a dark so it was this it was very sad because seriously the bad weather can bring your mood down you know like when it's a hot weather when it's nice weather like I have energy to go but now for example my energy level is very very low and because of the weather obviously because it's dark so the good weather brings your you know positive energy up and that's very important that's why there's a lot of people in cold countries when it's the winter their mood is very down but one thing that is a little bit surprising for me Usually Kusamui Beach is really nice and clean, but today I see a lot of garbage and I'm really sad because usually you won't see any garbage here. So most of the hotel, what they do, they clean up the beach in front of them. But I don't know what happened. I see a lot of garbage. Oh, there's one local guy swimming. So that's... Uh, nobody by the beach. I don't know how the weather is Kupangan or Kutau. So if the weather is like this, probably on December I'll go to Kuta, Kupangan or Kutau because weather is completely sucks here. Oh man, 23 days ago when I left here, here it was full of tourists. But obviously the rain, it doesn't allow anybody to enjoy the beach. Nice. Really, really nice. I love everything about here. 
but I don't know why the beaches is so dirty. They have to do something about it. Oh man, like I was reading online and it says December, and November, January is the one of the busiest month in Kusamui. But it's not true. Most of the hotel is empty. Nobody at the beach. Shrine Beach is very close to airport. So if you come to Shrine Beach and if you lie down here you can see plane is just landing every second. Not every second, like at least when it's season, like at least every hour. Art Park. Usually there's a fire show and everything here. It's going to rain now again. Another beach club here. Elephant. I never been here, but one night I have to come.
Cool. So a few of them is coming up soon.
so I'm heading back to my hotel and hopefully you guys can enjoy this video too and please subscribe leave me a comment and obviously weather is not that great but you know what are you gonna do you gotta deal with it you gotta enjoy your day you gotta go out hello hello ice cream ice cream okay thanks so you gotta go out enjoy your day and be positive so who cares if it rains every day you know obviously it just like brings my mood down too. to be honest with you because it gets dark and it's just rainy all day but what are you gonna do that's part of life 23 days ago when I was here every day was sunny now a little bit rainy so still I love it still I love everything about Kusamui so I'm going to Schwein Road now again that's a main road let's see what is going on there probably it's not that busy but everybody chilling now in, my, in their room or a lot of people went for Kupangan I guess for the moon party full moon party but it's not bad restaurants in Kusamu. Good, I like it. Pretty much every night after clubbing I'm going there and having flopper. I never had chicken shawarma from them but Local is not bad. Oh man, everywhere is so quiet today. I don't know what is going on. Seems to me nobody's in town. Yeah, everywhere is very quiet. Like, it's shocking to me. It is very quiet. Now it's like six, seven o'clock, and it's supposed to be full everywhere. But I'm, yeah, as I said, everybody went for a full moon party. Probably a lot of people coming back next few days. To be honest with you, I love Kusamoi. The only thing that bothers me is this massage thing. But if somebody wants massage, obviously they're gonna get in. Why do you keep asking? Yeah, thank you. That's the only problem. Hello, hello, how are you doing? 
Thanks. So, today I'm going to end this video. Please, guys, subscribe. Leave me a comment and tell me where, where you want to see in Kusamuri. Uh, somebody just last night I was reading my, one of the comments that I got from one of the subscribers, or maybe he's not even a subscriber. He said, Why I see your face and your video instead of uh, Thailand? I don't mean, I don't understand what he was trying to say because this is a travel vlog so i have to be on my video hey i have to be on my video so i don't understand why he says like why my face on my videos so i'm sure there's a lot of uh video that people just walk in and then there's no face on it so I recommend you my friend to go and see those videos because this is a travel vlog so I'm talking on my video sharing my experience so I'm sure you can find everything on YouTube anyway I'm gonna end this video please guys keep watching subscribe and leave me a comment and see you guys in the next video probably I'm gonna go out tonight and maybe I'll have a video for you guys later on but today is very, very quiet.